Today's topic is psoriasis. Named from the Greek word sora, meaning itch, psoriasis is a chronic, non-contagious disease characterized by inflamed lesions covered with silvery white scabs of dead skin. Psoriasis, which affects at least 4 million Americans, is slightly more common in women than in men. Although the disease can develop at any time, 10 to 15 percent of all cases are diagnosed in children under 10. And the average age at the onset of symptoms is 28. Psoriasis is most common in fair-skinned people and extremely rare in dark-skinned individuals. Causes of psoriasis. Your immune system is meant to protect you when an intruder, like a cold virus, enters your body. But sometimes the immune system mistakes your body's healthy cells for intruders and attacks them. While the exact cause of psoriasis isn't fully understood, scientists believe psoriasis is the result of several factors, including the immune system. When you have psoriasis, your immune system is overactive. This creates inflammation inside the body, which is a cause of the symptoms you see on the skin. More healthy cells are produced than normal. Those excess cells get pushed to the surface of your skin too quickly. Normally, it takes about a month for your skin cells to cycle through your body. With psoriasis, it takes days. Your body simply can't shed skin cells that quickly, so the cells build up on the surface of your skin. The thick red patches you see on your skin, also called plaques, are actually a buildup of excess skin cells. Types of psoriasis. The five major types of psoriasis are plaque psoriasis. Plaque psoriasis is the most common form of the disease and appears as raised red patches covered with a silvery white buildup of dead skin cells. These patches or plaques most often show up on the scalp, knees, elbows, and lower back. They are often itchy and painful, and they can crack and bleed. Guttate. Guttate psoriasis is a form of psoriasis that appears as small dot-like lesions. Guttate psoriasis often starts in childhood or young adulthood and can be triggered by a strep infection. This is the second most common type of psoriasis after plaque psoriasis. About 10% of people who get psoriasis develop guttate psoriasis. Inverse. Inverse psoriasis shows up as very red lesions in body folds, such as behind the knee, under the arm, or in the groin. It may appear smooth and shiny. Pustular. Pustular psoriasis is characterized by white pustules, or blisters of non-infectious pus, surrounded by red skin. The pus consists of white blood cells. It is not an infection, nor is it contagious. Pustular psoriasis can occur on any part of the body, but occurs most often on the hands or feet. Erthrodermic psoriasis is a particularly severe form of psoriasis that leads to widespread, fiery redness over most of the body. It can cause severe itching and pain and make the skin come off in sheets. It is rare, occurring in 3% of people who have psoriasis during their lifetime. Signs and Symptoms Psoriasis signs and symptoms are different for everyone. Common signs and symptoms include red patches of skin covered with thick, silvery scales, small scaling spots, commonly seen in children, dry cracked skin that may bleed, itching, burning, or soreness, thickened, pitted, or rigid nails, swollen and stiff joints. Psoriasis Diagnosis In most cases, a psoriasis diagnosis is rather straightforward. Your doctor will perform a physical examination of your skin, scalp, and nails, and also take your medical history. If you have a family member with psoriasis, it's important to share that with your doctor. In rare cases, a psoriasis diagnosis may require a biopsy, where your doctor takes a small sample of skin to examine under a microscope, so he or she can determine the exact type of psoriasis and rule out other disease possibilities. Psoriasis treatments. Treating your psoriasis is critical to good disease management and overall health. Work with your doctor to find a treatment that reduces or eliminates your symptoms. 
what works for one person with psoriasis may not work for another. Biologics. Biologic drugs, or biologics, are usually prescribed for moderate to severe psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis that has not responded to other treatments. They are given by injection or intravenous or IV infusion. Systemics. Systemic medications are prescription drugs that are taken orally or by injection and work throughout the body. Phototherapy. Phototherapy, or light therapy, involves exposing the skin to ultraviolet light on a regular basis and under medical supervision. Treatments are done in a doctor's office or psoriasis clinic or at home with a phototherapy unit. New oral treatments. New oral treatments improve symptoms of psoriatic disease by inhibiting specific molecules associated with inflammation. These treatments can be effectively delivered as tablets taken by mouth. Topicals. Topical treatments are applied to the skin and are usually the first treatment to try when diagnosed with psoriasis. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.